Hello and welcome, Wargamers! Scary and Luke here from MiniWarGaming.com finally bringing you Legions Imperialis! Today it'll be Wolves against some uh, Trader Solar Auxilia in a 1500 point battle. It's all we have! We just wanted to get it on the table for you guys. We play and call it work! Taking a look at my forces first. Uh, small disclosure, I am cheating because I have a Titan whose points break what I'm allowed to bring here, but it's the only way to get my forces to 1500 points without playing a much, much, much smaller game. And it'll give you a better variety in the game as well. So hopefully you understand and appreciate this. I'll be playing three different formations. I will be running the Space Wolves today. One of the formations will be a Demi Company uh, involving a command squad, obviously, because you kind of have to. And I'll be running three core detachments involving tactical or Legion tactical detachments. Two of them at least have to be Legion tacticals, but I got three of them here. One of them is going to focus on missile launchers. One of them is going to focus on plasma guns. And then one is going to have some assault marine additions to it. In addition to that, I have three support detachments. One will be a Terminator detachment. And none of these are added, they're just base detachments. And two of them are gonna be Contempt or Dreadnought detachments. One of them will have Assault Cannons, one of them is gonna have uh, the Laz Cannons. And that will finish off my Demi Company. I'll have a Legion Armored Company that will have a Predator Battle Tank Formation, will have a Sakaran Battle Tank Formation, and two Heavy Armors with Kratoses. One of the Kratos Squadrons will have Battle Cannons, and the other one is gonna have the Melta Blast Gun. My last formation will be a strategic asset, uh, being this Nemesis Warbringer you see here. Now he definitely breaks the percent I'm allowed to bring here, but again, that brings my force up to 1500 points and closer to what Scarry's bringing with his Solar Auxilia. He is equipped with everything you see here. He's got the Quake Cannon on his carapace. He's got one arm as a Volcano Cannon, and the other one is the Laser Gun. It's technically a Laser Blaster. Just, just as accurate as Laser Gun, I suppose. And that is my forces today. Let's go take a look at the Solar Auxilia. Welcome. The dead Emperor of Mankind. Or soon to be dead, and soon to be a corpse. The Corpse Emperor. Let us awry. <laughs> so we're playing, of course, the Solar Auxilia, uh, which is just the Traitor Guard today. Um, we are going to be running three formations. So first we start with a Solar Auxiliary sub-cohort formation, which is your standard sort of formation, with an HQ Legate Commander Detachment. And you can take one of these for every 1,500 points. So if you're playing the standard 3,000 points, you're going to be running two of these, hopefully. Now, it's very important for Auxilia to have models with the Commander rule, basically, that gives you the Solar Auxiliary HQ rule, because if your models are not within range of your commanders, you can only ever give them specific orders. You can't make them charge or march or anything. They just advance. <laughs> For they, that's it. That's all you can do. So keeping them alive is of paramount importance. I'm running two auxilia last rifles as part of the compulsory detachments. Uh, now, both of them have been upgraded quite substantially with a couple of flamer detachments, a couple of ogrin detachments as well, and then one of them even has some velatari a Velitaris Storm uh, additions as well. Then we've got uh, a couple of other units. We've got a Sentinel Heavy Patrol Detachment, which is the Atheon Sentinels. They're pretty cool. They I've have, never seen this model, but it's like new to me. Yeah, they, they basically are like Contempt of Dreadnoughts, yeah. but like Auxilia style. And that's it for that whole detachment. Now I do have an Auxilia Thunderbolt Detachment within my sub cohort. So two Thunderbolts coming in, flying around, and hopefully taking out some of these filthy, like, loyalist pup dogs. Wow. Yeah. I hope I just destroy you completely, Luca, I've... since you're cheating already. Fair. <laughs> We're going to be running. I've got a Solo Auxilia armored company formation led with a super heavy tank squadron with two bane blades one of which has been upgraded to a commander bane blade oh. i've got two battle tank squadrons one of malkador tanks and one of lehman rust tanks and last but not least i'm also dipping into my strategic asset formations in a legion support detachment of a warhound scout titan armed with a plasma blaster and super las gun. 
I mean, you know, laser can. Yeah, we called it a laser, laser gun. gun. Laser gun. We play sci-fi. <laughs> laser guns. Laser guns. And that is uh, 1,500 points. And a legal army. For any of you. Actually, his is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's playing within the confines of the guidelines. <laughs> you know what? So if uh, Luca does win, there's a giant asterisk, and you can put a, a lot of comments down below. It says Luca, cheater. Cheater. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to be fun. Let's dive into the game. Uh, today's mission is going to be seize and hold. And because we're playing with such small forces, we're going to be playing on a four foot by four foot table today. Uh, each player will be deploying in the deployment zones, as you can see, uh, across from one another. They are going to be 28 inches apart in this game. There are six objectives, uh, two in each player's deployment zone. And then there are two directly in the middle in no man's land. Now. The way scoring is going to work in this one is at the end of every round, and there will be five rounds uh, until the game is done. So whoever has the most amount of victory points at the end of five rounds will be the winner. We'll gain You will gain two victory points for each objective that is uncontested in your own deployment zone. Following that, you'll get five for the ones in the middle, and these are all uncontested. And then seven if you're able to muscle control of any of the ones in your opponent's deployment zone. And that is it for the match play mission. Now in Imperialis, both players secretly roll two secondary objectives to draw from before you deploy. And I went with Defiant because I technically rolled Vital Intel. That is like four paragraphs. I decided to immediately skip that. And I had to keep Skari away from my deployment zone. And then Skari himself got Carnage, which is just kill stuff. So our secondaries are quite simple as well. And I'll go into further details about how they exactly score uh, later on in the game. Couple of notes before we get into the game. This is uh, Skari Knight's first attempt at playing Legions Imperialis. So we are going to omit a couple of the rules to keep it basic and simple. This is more of a learning game. So if you've never played before, it's not necessarily how to play, but we're kind of explaining how everything works as we learn it ourselves. And if you notice that we miss anything, leave it in the comments down below. We are going to reiterate this throughout the video a lot. I'm you know, secret, I'm recording this after the game we just played, but I want to let you guys know in the beginning of the video that please, by all means, interact in the comments down below. That's very important. And let us know what we might have missed or done incorrectly, as this is our first time playing the game ever. So be impressed if we did a lot of things right. Also, if you want to come by and play some more games with us here at Mini Wargaming, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. We are in Welland, Ontario. It's near Niagara Falls. So if there's any game that's kind of scratching your itch and you haven't gotten it in for a bit, and uh, you want to come by and play with us, well, then you know where to go. You'll talk to Josh. He'll figure it all out for you there. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Gary and I are deployed with our forces here. Again, I'm playing the Space Wolves. I'll be on this side of the battlefield. And then Scary will be over on this side. I'm ready to fight, Luca. Why don't we go over your little formations here, just so people know where things are. Okay, so I split up my detachments across the entire battlefield. So I do have the... Uh, the Legio Mortis. War thank you. Warhounds. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Josh, for mm -hmm. lending me a war. Trader Phil. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> uh, the two Bane Blades, and then the Malkadors. The Lehman Russ is back here. Then I've got a Velatari, basically assault squad back here. I've got my scout, the super, like, little sentinels. They're like heavy sentinels. Yeah, they look like they're heavy sentinels. Yeah, and then we've got one unit of uh, Legionis infantry with a couple of uh, supporting flamers and Ogren. And then on this side, we've got a full detachment of Ogren. And then we've got my full command with my Legion command, ready to kind of go into this building and stand off against, I guess, a Titan. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll see. I, they might just hide behind this building. But if I don't put anything on this side, I won't score points. Right. So I yeah. need to, except it's very in the open. And there's a big Titan just looking at me. Which is terrifying. And speaking of Titans, that's where my nemesis Warbringer is. He's staring down this part of the battlefield. Uh, he is assisted or supported by a Contemptor formation or detachment of, with uh, the carries. We have the Kratos with the battle cannons. This is my weaker tactical squad. It has the assault marines. And then in this building, I garrisoned the missile launcher team of tacticals and a bunch of a blade of wound of marine bases as well. My last tactical formation is or detachment is going to be out front this is the one with my commander and where's my commander he's like right there that's my commander base all they're all plasma guns out in front of the building my kratos is with the melta turret the other contemptor unit and then the sakarans and the predators waiting behind the buildings they're kind of fast they're going to like sweep out and start applying pressure where need be and that's kind of it i do have my terminators in reserve they have the deep strike rule we'll be seeing where and when they show up just a little bit later 
And uh, I do have my Thunderbolts in reserve because they oh, aircraft, yeah, they have to start in reserve. Yeah. And aircraft are really cool. They come in every turn, they move in, they do a spin, and then they act normally, and then at the end, they go away, and then they come back next turn. This so is they, like, just, they just yeah. come in and you have like, a, while they're on the battlefield, you can shoot them, but other than that, they just come in every turn. And they, they have line of sight to everything on the battlefield, but everything on the battlefield has line of sight to them. You know what's funny about that? In, in a game where it's down to eight mil scale, they have logical flyer rules, yeah. right? Where they show up on the battlefield, leave the battlefield, yet when they amp it up to 40K, the flyers is on the table the entire game. <laughs> Doesn't boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it's like, if you were to zone it down to a 40K game, which would probably be played on like quarter of this battlefield. Yes. Like with the same amount of models. It's supposed to be like a Walmart, like a big Walmart parking lot, essentially. Right, exactly. Yeah. And so you have your flyer come in and then do a little, little spin and then spin. Yep. And then do a little spin. Just like fighting. And then spin. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it, people want to play with their models, they paint them, I get all it. that you stuff. Know, they're That's like, cool yeah, models, yeah. but like, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's always bothered me. It bothered me deeply since they came out in 6th edition. Though I didn't mind it because they would be like, show up, pass well, back, off, show when, up. Okay, in like 3rd and 4th edition, with when Forge World had the rules for aircraft. Yeah, it was they, Forge World. Yeah, I never they actually literally, played with them. They, yeah. You'd roll for them for reserve, and then they would you'd put them on the edge of the battlefield, and you could hear them. You knew they were going to show up there. Yep. And they would show up and just do a, a line. They'd go straight. They'd go one, they'd do one turn, and then they'd fly off the board, and then come in again. Yeah. But they, that you get split second, they'd have one turn to come in and go, and then they'd come in again and do another run. Anyway. Yeah, it, is, it is what it is, right? Yeah. Oh, anyways, I do want to promote this terrain here for anyone who is curious and watching and like kind of frothing at the mouth, maybe like, where's this terrain from? Where'd you get this terrain from? Well, let me tell you, we got a lot of deals to go along with it as well. So the two deals are available for the Gothic train set from the Mini Wargaming Forge .com. Of course, check the doobly doo down in the bottom, the description, because all the stuff is right in there. But it's fifty percent off all STL bundles at miniwargaming.com slash eight millimeter. And then the ultimate bundle of everything has almost four hundred files. So it's normally nine hundred, was discounted to five hundred with the discount. You get it all for two hundred and fifty which is really, really cool. 20% off the half and full table printed bundles at miniwargaming.com slash printed eight millimeter. And if you don't have a 3D printer, don't worry, we'll print it for you and literally ship it to you. Because you wanna bring your table to life. Exactly. And what better way to do it than with a nice, tiny little scale game. I personally prefer all my games at this scale if possible, but I also like sci-fi and fantasy, so they usually get historicals of this scale, so it's nice we finally have some updated rules for epic, well, Legion's I do like the round bases, though. Yeah, they're cool. I yeah. like it. I yeah. kind of want to rebase all my old epic stuff on these round bases and see, like, I know the scale's a little different, but yes. I, I have all the old I think epic, epic stuff. I think six mil? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a little it's bit like smaller. just yeah. a little small, but you know what? Whatever. Yeah, exactly. It is Nobody it will is, care. Yeah. And the uh, other fun thing you can do with like Legion, uh, Legion's Imperialis models is you could technically just play the Horus Heresy with these guys, right? You, but you just play on a tiny table. You do like a two by two or something. And you play like a 6,000 point game. This would be, this here is a small game of Legion's Imperialis. This would be a massive Horus Heresy game. And you, that's it. Now you're playing, you just use the Horus Heresy rules instead. You have your little predator squadrons. You keep track of their hull points and everything. It would take a long time to play, but you don't need a massive hull to play your apocalypse level games. Now you can play whatever this is in Horus Heresy points terms. This has got to be, uh, 5,000 points of Space Wolves with the Titan, maybe a little bit less, if I had to do a quick little estimation. And then you'd have something similar on the other side. Uh, no, because the Guardsmen are very, very... Oh, they're very cheap. Yeah, <laughs> we got very Bane, cheap. Yeah, the Bane Blades yeah, the are Bane expensive, Blades the Warhound. Yeah, 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 exactly. They, yeah, the Warhound's not bad. Ish, yeah, ish. Ish. And then they don't actually have these models, but... Uh, That's true, yeah. I don't know what those would be. You, you could, whatever, figure out rules <laughs> for yourselves at home easily enough, if you're already changing up the scope of the game. Anyways, we're ready to get this uh, the show on the road here and uh, figure out how to play. Also, disclaimer, I've never played a game of this before. I I'm haven't either. We've yeah. read the rules. So please leave us a comment down below if we get anything wrong. We will fix it for the next one. Um, however, we're going to try our best not to, and we'll explain every step of the way. So like we'll basically go, oh, initiative step, order step, all that yep. stuff. It is, we'll it'll be step by step. So there's going to be a learn with us as we go. Correct. Game. It's going to be one of those bad boys. So expect is... a little bit of errors. <laughs> 
don't. No. Expect perfection. Perfection. Fine. Every time. Never mind, I take back what I said. Expect perfection. Make That's fun right. of us in the comments That's later. That's right. <laughs> First little step is to give your orders out to all your detachments. Now, they're supposed to be secret, but we already did that part and just flipped and them all over. And then we them over, yep. Yeah. So yeah. I already got all mine lined up and everything. Uh, that's the thing you do before you roll to see who has initiative in the round and the way it's going to work out from there once we roll off. In this game, the winner of the roll-off gets to dictate who will go first, kind of like Titanicus. But if there's a tie, then whoever didn't have it automatically gets it on the second round onward, other than the first round is re-roll. Your re-roll test. Yeah, yeah. But uh, otherwise, in this case, uh, it'll be I activate a detachment, then Scar activates the detachment, and then the little token orders here are going to represent like how they've activated or what they do by removing them or flipping them over. Just an easy way to tell who's already gone. I'm not going to bother going. I'll go over the orders once I go to activate the detachments, yep. and Scary will as well. For now, we're just going to roll initiative. <laughs> That's right. I got to roll to get a d6, so I never have one. Da 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 da. Six, six. That's a oh, reroll in the first that's a, round. That's a great way to start. Four, oh my four, goodness! And again. Three. Hooray! One. Hey, initiative two, Scary. <laughs> so. We are going to move on to the movement phase and everything. But first, we'll go over to your side, I suppose. To the other side of the battlefield, these scouts had the... Well, they have a scout rule. The Sentinels, yeah. They yeah. pre-game moved seven, and now I have given them an advance order. So they will be the first detachment I decide to move. And the advance order is the most basic move and interact. Move, and, and the then other. they yeah. can shoot in the shooting phase, essentially, or in the uh, fight phase. So they're just going to advance... They're just going to get up to this position over here. Just get some control on that objective. Yeah. That'll be their final position. I'm just going to mirror that with my contemptors. And they're going to move up there. Oh, they're coming. They're coming for me, Luca. And the, little, the little mini contemptor dreadnoughts. They've given me nightmares from old Horace Heresy games. Oh, those are, yeah, those I wonder how durable they are in this game. Oh, probably not that durable. <laughs> nothing seems too durable. <laughs> Other nothing, than the Titans. Nothing the Titans. seems to be super durable yeah. in this game. So I'm going to go ahead and triple and advance them. That means that I get to triple their move. Normally it's just double but because they're all infantry, right. they triple their move. So they go, they go 15 inches. Come they're basically up, just gonna... It's a position they're taking up. Now, the reason I was able to give them uh, things that are not just advance is because I do have a tank commander here, and so I can issue normal orders to everything because he's got the leadership rule, eight inches, whereas he has the 10 inch rule. So anyone that's not within those bubbles in a... Um, auxilia army or a solar, uh, right? Yeah. Solar. Uh, non marines. Non marine yeah. army. Yeah. Uh, I can only issue them advance orders unless they're within range of a command bubble, in which case they can uh, change their That's command. unique to the solar arc. Yeah, so. it makes that you try to kill the command models. <laughs> and if uh, you do, uh, I'm just very sad. And from there, we go to my side. I'm just going to move a few of these up. Well, not, right. not a few of them. We'll move one at a time. My contemptors are going to move, but they were ordered the march. So they get to double their movement. We're going to double their movement up there. And I, you'll notice I took their order token off because that is, they can't do anything else for the rest of the phase, the, the round because they march. They can't attack and do any of that fun stuff. So all the other units that are still eligible to act in the other phases, you keep the token flipped down to show that they've activated in that phase already. And at the end of the phase, you flip over all the tokens. As you go to the combat phase, like they can still attack, if that makes sense to people watching. That's how it recommends you do it in the book, and it makes sense. It's a quick, easy way of doing yeah. it. I've got a march order on my little Velatari or whatever, so they can go up to 15 as well, and we're just gonna just straight up march them. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's just like a little infantry team. Yeah, it's, so they have marched up at full speed, ready to engage the Space Marines as quickly as possible. Coming up to the Contemptors right here. All right, I'm gonna move to my Assault Infantry here, my Tactical Squad. They are marching, so they're gonna go real far. Put down they're these. gonna go past the contemptors, I believe, just right up down the road. Get to the, the objective Ogre. with the fancy, well, the jump axe don't matter too, too, too much, but that's where they go with a triple move. Yep, uh, there's four jump axe in there. Yep. So my Bulgren are just gonna move up their full speed. They're on, under march orders as well? Yep, they're under march orders. They're just gonna come here and force you to well, shoot well, them well. with stuff. Well, I mean, <laughs> I was gonna say, neither one of us really have any <laughs> Like, they, they're they both marching, you march, there's no fighting in any of these. You should have tied on Adam. I do, I do have these guys. I, could, yeah. I got the Titans and everything, yeah. I suppose. That's it, just a little squad of four, eh? Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Well, I am going to mirror I'm that. Go well, I'm going to move the. Actually, I'm going to go this way instead. Oh, towards gonna, there? Yeah, you know what? The take backs, by the way, rule is you're allowed to take stuff back until you've rolled dice. 
Or whatever yeah. you agree or, with your opponent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it doesn't really matter. But there is a little excerpt on the actual rules, which is kind of cool. Just, anyway, they're going to hide here because they would like to try and stay alive, I guess. Yep, yep. I figured there was like the death penalty going there. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. I am going to move my predator battle tanks. They're going to poke their head out. They're rolling out. Warhound Titan time. He's just going to move up. And then it can he can spin twice. He's just going to spin once. Sure to bring his guns to bear down, down the road way. here. It's got the agile rule. Yep. And then I'll just go with my Sakarans. They're gonna whoop, roll up and out over this way. I don't even have to measure that. I know they're not gonna go too far. They're gonna try and double up on this objective because you check at the end, uh, this game has sticky objective rules, but if like they get annihilated and I don't have my Sakarans there, then I'll have nothing to contest the objective. So I might as well try to double up on it. Uh, time to move some Bane Blades. So these Bane Blades are just gonna move around. Bang around. He's gonna have these giant fights down this road here. Yep. I don't have Titan support down this road, but I guess I'll make do. Do the same thing with my Kratos. Kratos is gonna park their butts right here, probably. Getting up there, but they're the Melta turrets, so they're not really gonna help me too much. I'm gonna move these Malkadors. I'm just gonna quickly. Check some stuff here, and they're just gonna make sure they're holding this objective. Yeah. And uh, getting down, getting down range here. There you go. I, I think it's nice to show the movement on the first turn, but after this, you'll understand the mechanics, and we'll basically show you before and after, because it's really where it kind of, the action happens is more the shooting and yeah. combat phase. That's where all the like phase. the content, yeah. But Correct. like the movement's important. Like you go back and forth and back and forth, yeah. but we're not going to show this back and forth all the time because it will end up being like an hour of us just moving one unit at There's a time. There's five battle rounds of this. It doesn't right? like yeah. we know they're advancing. It's gonna it's gonna set up. We're basically setting up to start blasting each other. Yeah, is basically That's, what it comes I down assume to. what most of you are here for, but we'll yeah. figure if you want to skip ahead through the movement phase, we're going to show the rest of it off, but for the future turns, we'll skip past it. We'll show the before and after. And for this, I'm just going to have these battle tanks scoot up behind. Uh, I don't know. This is going to go support behind this. They're pretty fast, though, little guys. Well, they're, they're fast, heavy guys. I'm going to move my Legio command, basically. They're not going to embark in this building <laughs> because I feel like... Um, that would just make them an easy target for this uh, Titan that's uh, just walking down the road nonchalantly. So they're gonna hide back here for at least a turn and then hop out and be amazing. Oh, the last couple things I have is like a first fire, the Warbringer, and the command unit here. The command unit is just gonna, tr they're, they can move up to 15, but they are going to just move up to here. It's like about eight or so. So then the flyers. Now they come in from reserve on turn one. So I can put them eight inches up on my board edge, touching essentially my board edge. And then they get to move 25 inches and can spin 90 degrees during their move. Um, but then at the, in the end phase, they're essentially going to get removed. So I'm just going to fly them up this way. Everything can see them. They can see everything. Correct. Yeah, they're they're, just, they're high. They're, they're the high marker up, is mainly yeah. for range on their weapons. Yes. They can, and then they do their uh, front arc. Like they basically shoot to the front. Essentially, is what it comes down to. Yeah, and this game's arcs are just like 50-50. Yeah. Like everything. Front right or in front. back. That's, That's it. it. There's no size. There's no side like yeah. No need to get that close in details. Uh, otherwise, I am gonna go ahead and just do my Nemesis Warbringer. I'm going to move him up there. Uh, he, I'm putting the little blue die there to show the Void Shield saves. Uh, the Titans have a roll called Void Shields. I'll explain that later. When it comes up, though, I am going to have to go back. And I never actually meant to move them. They were always going to stay here for the objective on the first turn. It doesn't change anything. They just wiggle a couple of millimeters. And then he will move his lumbering. Glorious five inches. Glorious. Forward. Now, he could move 90 degrees at any point uh, in that turn. I think he's just going to keep looking straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just shoot that building anyways. Just to <laughs> put, I got no other targets. Don't really. kill my... You can, you can, don't kill my building. I want to hide behind it. I want to give it a shot. And no, then, no, no, no. That's pretty much, I just have to resolve a first fire. And then technically all your guys in reserve resolve their order, but if they're in reserve, they don't do anything. Then the Lehman Russ little tank gonna company. Spring their trap! <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be, are they the only ones on the objective or the other guys? No, no, they're, they're on the objective as well. They're just, they're just gonna behind the building. Yeah, yeah let's go. Let's Get go down. The face off against, face off against the Titan boys. <laughs> there we go. 
there it is. And then I don't, I gotta resolve this. Which is, uh, it's kind of like, uh, if you ever played Magic the Gathering, it's like first strike in combat. So you resolve these first, and then you but go to the combat But because I had initiative, phase. if I had first strike, yeah. then I would be shooting first. Yeah. Because I have initiative, and then you would go. Correct. But because you're the only one that put a unit in to shoot. So, yeah. They're going to shoot first it's before gonna everybody go else. All of the flyers, whatever has range, it's only going to be the missiles because bolters are like eight. <laughs> yeah. Now, granted, it's going to be difficult for them to hit because they are airborne. So, I believe, I'll have to double check, I only hit them on sixes and I got one, two, three, four bases in range. When I say four in range, that's like all of them. I have two bases, uh, sorry, two bases of two enhancements on this tactical squad there. I think I gave them one, two, I gave them an extra base of tacticals for some ablative wounds as well. Whoosh! We got no hits. And that's that. Okay. Now we've resolved the first strike. We go ahead and Scary picks a detachment to attack with. So now, yeah, so now we would technically do any combats, but, um, oh, but we're not like in charges. combat with anything. Yeah. So now we can do remaining shooting, essentially. So anybody who advanced can now basically advance and shoot. So we'll flip over all the tokens. Yeah, so you do that at the uh, end of the movement phase, I suppose. And then these guys are all, they have the same symbols as before, meaning that they can do another action this phase, essentially, which is shoot gun. <laughs> Other than the guys who marched, <laughs> their tokens are gone. They can't activate anymore. Okay. Scar would like to get some action with these Lehman Russes. Before they get obliterated by a, <laughs> by, a war, by a titan. I definitely need them to not be dead before they shoot. The Lehman Russ strike squadron looks at their prey across the battlefield into the Kratos squadron, holding the objective for the space marines, and they open fire. Got two vanquishers, two battle cannons, which will resolve. The hull heavy bolters, though, are only 12 inches, so they're out of range, uh, but the hull mounted last cannons are in range as well. So two battle cannons, uh, one shot each, hitting on fours. So that's one hit. Not bad. Um, then we have two vanquisher battle cannons, also hitting on fours. One hit. <laughs> okay. 50-50, <I see laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then two last cannons, also hitting on fours. Okay, nice. Consistency one of is key. After the opening salvo, I have a save at negative one from the battle cannon. Yep. Ah. Uh, which is a two up, and the last cannon is also minus one, so I might as well fire at the yep. same time. I will fail both, and that kills one of the Kratos because they're only two wounds. Okay. And, and then, then they, one... they two up saves, by the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, then one Vanquisher Battle Cannon. That one's at minus two. I'll fail that as well. One damage on that one, right. basically. So I one. Lose a Kratos, and this one's got one wound left. An unfortunate opening salvo for them. And then because they're under 50% or 50% well, are 50, under. They took 50% casualties out of my activation. I basically. had to see what happens to them. I got to roll a morale check for them. They are morale three up. We're gonna pass. Nice. This, keep, this keeps his order. Otherwise, it'd have to be a fallback order. And you Correct. resolve that. You when switch it to up. a fallback, and then at the in the morale phase, at the end of the turn, you'd have to see if he rallies. Basically, right. and that's Scary's very impressive opening salvo. Yeah, go Lehman Russes. I will get to go next. The Securians are gonna go. Just double checking the rules on things. Uh, I'm gonna fire everything into the flyers because what why have not? they ever done to you? Ah, <laughs> uh, they're they got like twin, effectively twin like turrets. Are not too bad. They get to reroll their attempts. This one. Gets to reroll hits against flyers. This one gets to just reroll hit rolls. So, and then the last cans are gonna go for the flyers as well. And the heavy bolters can't hurt the flyers, nor do they have range to fire at anything else. Not that you can normally split fire, but the point defense weapons can. So the spawns in last cannon yep. misses. Uh, the accelerator is three shots Ooh. on sixes, but very I get nice. to reroll because you are flying. I am. I would like us. I got oh, a hit. Oh, you got one. Very nice. And then the omega plasma has a five, but a reroll. No, just one hit from the auto cannons. Just minus just one. Just has a four up save. So five up. Oh, you got one. Bow. Just one wound. Oh, yeah. Oh, I shot one out of this guy. Nice. Hey, here, just oh, you gotta do a morale check. I don't know if that I matters. I definitely do. Look at that. I have a little Karen. You're He's good. fine. Excellent. That's my activation. All right, just double checking. No morale on the Thunderbolts. They're just good to go. Yep. They they just fly around, do stuff till they they die. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. And now I'm going to activate the Sentinels. Oh, we can see what they do. Yeah. Now they're going to open up into the Dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah, fair. Let's just shoot every... <laughs> I can be the only walkers on the battlefield, Dreadnoughts. So we're going to do all six multi-lasers. That's 12 shots, hit with fives. So that'd only be three shots from the multi-lasers. What traits do they have? Uh, so they're just light anti-tank. So they, can, they don't get a... They have zero AP, so it doesn't... Oh, okay, gotcha. It they're... doesn't really matter. Yeah, lady. It's just three, three with zero AP. 
And then at six, I'm just going to use their one-shot profile, the anti-tank version of their missile launchers. So four to hit. Nice. So that'd be three more, but these are AP one. Excellent. Multi-laser saves. We pass them all. They're four Ooh, ups. Oh, very nice. And then the other ones are minus one. It's minus missiles. one. Uh, fair. I pass one of those and I fail two. I lose two contemptors and I got to do leadership. Morale. They're not good. Pop. Pop. Though I should note that uh, my commander has a rule called Inspiring 8, which uh, allows detachments to use his leadership of 2 plus within that range. Probably shouldn't take the order off. That can stay on them. But we do lose a couple dreadnoughts. I'm going to put all the shots into the sentinels. We get a little vengeance from these predators. <laughs> so they'll do all of the shots that way. Though I might do some point defense shots elsewhere. It's got to double check ranges. My old friend's got uh, heavy bolters. He's going to fire at that guy right there. Nice. On fives with the those. We got one hit <gasps> on the infantry. Six up safe. <sighs> got a base. Bow. Go five guys. Everything else was into the sentinels. So we are going to start with the the two last cannon sponsons on these guys. We got a couple hits. Oh, very nice. And then we'll do the the turret spa last cannon on top. This one is accurate, so it gets to reroll. But we got three hits, and then got to resolve the predator auto cannons. Nice. They are two shots each. Uh, these are light AT, which will work against walkers. Fives. Two additional hits. Nice. nice. So these are all minus one. Everything. Five saves at minus one. Four of saves goes to fives. I oh, kill just five of them. Yeah, just gets oh, predator squadron. Okay. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh, then they Wait might have to do a morale. Oh, I owe you shots, sir. Then shoot away, because you just shot at I him. shot six of them. I owe you two more Sentinels worth of shots. And that was in there. We can yes. resolve that easily enough. Okay. I thought it was six. It was eight. Uh, Multi-lasers. Nothing. And then rocket launchers. Pew, pew. Two Ooh. at AP1. More saves. Well, that is one more guy dead. Now, whatever. I'll just keep this guy. Well, they morale. took a bit of a whooping. Four up save. For four up. Nope. They are broken, and I don't have the inspiring around. I, let me just check to see if he's inspiring. Yep. Because he is a commander. They have now been issued a fullback order as they reel from the just absolute murder those predators put on them. It's the first time I've seen predators do good in any edition of any game. <laughs> <laughs> good job, predators. That was a pretty good start there. That wasn't too bad, actually. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Thunderbolt fighter into your last Dreadnought. Try and take it out, absolutely. Yeah, might as well just try and kill it. Quad auto cannon on fives. Pop, pop, pop. Come Two at AP1. Nice. Uh, five ups. He's dead. Okay. Blah. There and that's it. Uh, he has a last cannon and health strike missiles, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter for that. He's, he's done. I just want to get rid of those Dreadnoughts before. From the flyer, let's go with my Kratos battle tanks. I'm going to fire everything they can, which isn't much, into them. Cool. It's going to be the one little Kratos. Resolving that, only one of them can fire. This is the non-coaxial one. These are accurate, so got a hit, but accurate allows the reroll. And then the coax, we got one hit, and the coax has nothing. Technically, the turret has to target the same thing. It's not in range, but I'll say it's targeting anyways. Is I there guess. any AP on this? One. All six of them. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Dead. Boom. That's it. The other one didn't have line of sight. These Malkadors are going to shoot the Predators. Only the two main cannons are in range. <laughs> and just one shot on force. Hit. One hit. And then the Vanquisher battle cannon uh, does not, but it is. Uh, so that's it. Just one at AP1. Minus one. Oh, I'm gonna roll their save. That's probably a fail. Is the uh, these are built weird. I'll lose that one. I don't have much more to go with. I just have the uh, Warbringer over here and this Kratos. So I'm just gonna do the Warbringer and see what he's capable of. Pretty much everything the Lehman Rust is, uh, I believe. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what he's capable <laughs> of. Should have resolved him first. He's got his Anvilus pattern defense batteries. And I guess that wouldn't matter because you did Lehman Rust the first. They're anti fly, they got sky fire and defense. So what is that? De point defense. So they just, well, I mean, you can split fire everything on a Titan anyways, but in it this also case, means that the point defense could shoot like in, in the, the movement, movement phase. phase. Yeah, you get like an initial opening volley yeah. with them. They can't shoot twice in a round, but they can shoot earlier in the game. So they're going to fire. I could have fired them earlier, but they're going to fire into the flyer. And then I'm going to do the quake cannon, the laser blast gun, and the volcano cannon all into the Lehman Rust. I am in danger. Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll resolve the point defense system first. The Anvilus Pattern Defense System. It's apparently five shots hitting on fives. Uh, one hit. Minus one. Just five up here. No. Shot him out of the sky. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hey, you got some Dead. damage in, though. Yeah, he, he actually did. finished off the Dreadnoughts. He did, he did. So the Warbringer is going to zero in, zero in. The Quake Cannon on top of that guy's head, kind of right in the middle. It is a five-inch blast, so I'm going to place it. 
Look at that dangerous that is. Boom! Kind of right on top of them there, and we are going to see if it hits. We have to see if it hits first, otherwise it scatters. I believe D6 plus one inches because it's a five inch blast. Now, does it hit? Probably not. Oops, correction, uh, I'm thinking of Titanicus. Got a little uh, in my own head there. I actually rolled this first. I'm gonna keep the three because it's gonna scatter four inches. If I roll a direct hit here. Okay, it's gonna go four inches that away. So it'll be two partial hits and in this, yeah, see if they're actually hit at all. No, they both. Oh, it's only partial. It's like on a four plus Correct. or whatever. Uh, then you resolve to see if they're hit or not and all that stuff. And then I've got the uh, volcano and the laser gun. The volcano is a single shot, hits, and that is uh, big damage. The rest is again a six up oh, save against AP4. Two up minus four. Oh, he's dead. Oh, very, very goodness. dead. Boom. Pow. And the laser blaster, three shots on fours. One hits at minus three. You'll have a five up. Five up against this. Okay, so against the battle cannon again. Yeah, oh, good nice. job. Bounces right off the front armor and he's done. That'll conclude him. The only thing I have left are the Bane Blades, uh, the War uh, Hound Titan, and this unit, this detachment back here. I'm just going to activate this detachment and flip over their card. They're, yeah, they had an assault. They're just going to fire at nothing. They're going to, yeah. So all I have left is my Kratos, who's going to fire down at your Lehman Russes if I have range. Yep. Got little baby battle cannons compared to the Lehman Russ. The Lehman Russ has a strictly better battle cannon. Well, in range. The Vanquisher ones are 32. So yeah. They're really. They're longer range. I wish they were all Vanquishers. Note to whoever built these, I want all Vanquishers next time. <laughs> Easier to resolve the units, yeah. that's for sure. He's got That's no something shots. I'm going to say, though. If you're playing this game, I highly recommend, if you build it, build your detachments as like the same weapons on every model and just focus their fire on one thing it'll make it a heck of a lot easier i'm telling you right now and then the last well some of the last things to resolve over here so the bane blades are going to open up into those predator tanks uh we're just going to try to get rid of them so i have a bane blade cannon i've got a bunch of auto cannons uh and it is only light at on the auto cannon so Against you will you lose the AP. I will it, lose yeah. the AP there. I do have a bunch of last cannons as well. Okay, so <laughs> so let's do it. So I've got one Bane Blade cannon in range. Four to hit. Boom. He hits. That's AP three. And then uh, two last cannon shots each hitting on fours. Two hits. And these are two AP one. Yep. And then that's it for range. That's it for oh, everything else. Like sixteen inches. Demolish. So, like, really yeah. yeah. so one's that. Sorry, one was AP two or three. Uh, one's three. That's a Ooh, there's very a nice, and then two at AP one. One dead. Well, now that's a leadership check on him. Correct. Uh, they can use his though, I believe. Oh, they're good. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful warhound. That uh, leaves the warhound titan. We're gonna figure out where he wants to put his two uh, guns. Hmm, I can split fire here. So He's I'm, a titan. Yep. So I'm more than likely going to shoot something at the predator, and then something either the Sicarans or the um, Kratos. Kratos. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Plasma Blaster is going to shoot at the Predator and then the Turbo Laser Destroyer is actually going to shoot the Sicarans in the back. Back. So those are the targets. We'll do the Predator first with the Plasma Blaster. Yeah, so two shots hitting on threes. Boom, boom, boom. These are AP3. Okay, two sixes. Oh, oh come uh, on, Luca. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to me, bro? Uh, causing pain and prolonging <laughs> the game. <laughs> uh, and then we got the turbo laser destructor. This is fours, but it is accurate. Reroll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Just one at AP3. That was a Sakarin. Ah, uh, well, that's a dead Sakarin. I do not like the plasma one, so let's go to that. And leadership. Ooh, broken. All back. That is going to conclude the combat phase. We're going to yep. move on to the next phase of the game. The I... end phase. Ooh, that's where we do morale things and, yeah. and scoring and whatnot. Scoring, I know, is easy on this one because you got this one under wraps pretty good. I got this one under wraps pretty good. And I have these two and you have your two back there. So, if I recall, for the primary, it's two points per one in your detachment, in your deployment zone. So, you'll get four for those. This one's worth five. So, that'd be nine victory points. And I'll be getting the same in this first, first battle round of five. The secondary is coming to play at the end. And we also have to do rallies and stuff. That would be, I believe, before scoring. But in this case, the rallying and all that won't affect scoring. So. Yep. Yeah, it's before. So um, you have yours. I have initiative. So I'll just roll mine first. So they have to try and rally on a four plus. They do not. Which means they will take that fullback order. And they have to move at twice their speed. So 14 inches. And you can move through your own models and yes. everything. And you just, just move through the legs of the Titan. You're just going there. straight back, and they have fallen back 
And uh, now next, or next turn, they can only be issued that full back order that remains there. So they can't do anything except and try they, and rally in the end phase correct. again. Correct. And they may just run off the battlefield. Yeah, and they might stuff. run away. So then that would go on to, I believe we only have one broken unit each. So yep. my Predator, he's about half an inch away from the Inspire, oh, by the way, if so anyone's close. curious. Okay, so he, he would have passed on the two of passes here. So he just, that just goes away. Correct. Yeah, and he could be ordered, ordered things. Issued or normal orders. This Removed is them. when I would remove my flyers. But they've already been removed by Luca. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> and then And then calculating victory points. Which we kinda of jumped the gun on, but we still get nine each, nothing changes there. Yep. And then we're gonna go to the next round. I believe we put our orders down, and then we roll initiative. Correct! Yes! So we're on to <laughs> battle round! Number two, we did it, Luca! Absolutely. We did That's it! One through one of five done. <sighs> Simple enough, not too bad, not too bad. Learning on the fly, I'll be transparent. Learning on the fly stresses me out, guys. I like to study a lot the night beforehand if I can. This is out of my comfort zone here, but we're doing okay, I feel. You know, we're having a fun time. This, is, uh, this has been fun in my I opinion. like it. I like the, the doubling this out in points would be kind of spicy. It'd be and, crazy, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely. And you'd have a legal army. I'd have a legal army as well. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'm gonna, we're going to put all the orders down. We're going to show you what those orders look like and uh, go from there. Going over some of my orders, I got first fire on my Predator and Sakarin, my single elements. An advance on the Kratos. My command squad also has an advance with all the plasma guns. An advance on my missile launcher tactical squad. Are, I forgot these objectives are sticky objectives. So that means they're a little bit more flexible in where they can go. I wanted them to come out this way, but I already have this objective. And then our Warbringer is advancing. So is the Kratos battle tank. The Contemptor Dreadnought Squadron. We are marching with the Infantry Tactical Squad with Assault yep. Jump Backs. Yep. And then what do we have on... And then my Terminators are uh, advancing as well and from Reserve. So I've got a march with my Tactical Command and his whole big, big block of dudes. I've got a, a shoot first with the Lehman Russes. Hopefully they get a fire off before they die. Because they're out of command range and I messed up, they have to be given an advance order. I wish it was a charge so I could just run in and just tackle that tactical with that Marine... Legionis unit. An advance, an advance, they're falling back, advance, a march on this detachment here, and then a charge on them, because they're going to try to just clog up the works of that tactical legion unit with your commander, at least for a turn, Fair. and yeah. just maybe take a few of them with them. <laughs> I like it. Otherwise, uh, we're good to go. Again, we're going to try and show you where everything is up to speed up the process, and if and in future Legions Imperialis games, if you want to see all of the movement of every phase leave a comment down below and then if you don't want to see it leave a comment down below <laughs> and instead of repeating the same comment over and over again if you have seen someone already posted that comment give it a thumbs up so give me like if you see someone who said first also show every movement phase give it a thumbs up if you like showing every movement phase and if you see someone else saying don't show every movement phase give that one a thumbs up that's like a vote that's how voting works <laughs> so please give me a vote in the comments <laughs> down below or don't interact at all i know a lot of you don't but you know if you have the time click a button <laughs> i guess it'll help me a lot making the content for you the viewer or if you downvote for scary that also works and then somewhere in there fake accent <laughs> like, downvote for scary just grabbed it out of the game store or the fake accent store Oh, he bought it online on I the did. big accent score. I did. <laughs> Got it years ago. A cheap, <laughs> cheap knockoff. <laughs> this is important to show the initiative roll off. I'll reroll that. That That's doesn't like, really count as a dice roll. I'll okay. count that as a three instead. Okay. A three. That means re -roll. I have. Uh, only in the first round do you reroll. Boo! Boo! I say boo. So it means I I will move. Scary will move. I will move, etc. I'm going to show you where everything is up. I'm going to summarize it as well. Yeah. Afterwards, it's hard to summarize what I'm going to do now. Because we're going to see what each other does. We're going to go back and forth. And Correct. then we'll show it off. And, and we'll we'll tell you what happened. Yeah. As you will see it on that. the table. Now, to go over everything that went down here in order would be kind of a pain in the butt. To generalize, I'll start over here on this side of the board. Nemesis Warbringer moved forward. So did the Kratos. Again, the objectives are sticky, so I don't need to defend it that much. My Contemptors moved forward as well. And then my Infantry Squad rushed forward. And then they got countercharged by... Yeah, I used my... Strategic Genius Commander ability to switch as soon as I activate it, I change their order from a march to a charge. So they engage. So they were able to engage means. you right away because yep. um, you got a little too close there, and then they stayed still. They just moved around to uh, to counter the dreadnoughts pushing up the flank. 
The Sentinels are falling back, but you decide you're going to deep strike your Terminus here. We're going to show how that works off in a bit. Yeah, I did that last. So. The Assault, Bulg uh, they moved in, they garrisoned this building. And then we had the, the Titan and the Blades move up that flank to basically threaten the Kratos and the other detachment. And then my little uh, squad of uh, boarding axes has uh, charged just to pin that, just to pin that entire detachment of Space Marines. Yes, when you charge, you double your movement speed. So I activated something and Scar reacted them right away to charge my tacticals with the command squad over there. And then over here, they did march. And they're basically trying to do a long flanking maneuver. Um, Luca's secondary objective is, uh, is defiant. So if I have detachments inside of his deployment zone, that is not good for him. So yes. I'm gonna try and make that as annoying as possible to at least try and get some points off that. And my Kratos has just moved forward with their, their Melta beam guns. They had first fire, so they stood still. And then my garrisoning unit, you, for, un, for un garrisoning, you pick a point anywhere along the garrison, they move out of there. So I picked this point, and that a unit of missiles came out there. Oh, just to support this side of the battlefield more, I'll definitely need the assistance because uh, i got a Titan barreling down on me with a couple of super heavies right behind it. And that is it. Yeah. Oh, no, I got to resolve the deep yeah, strike. Yeah, we'll do the deep strike. So I wanted my Terminators to come behind enemy lines. So to give you an idea, the Lumen Rust is over here. The Malkadors are scooping up on the road this way. And then this is the falling back unit of Sentinels. So the Terminators are going to show up. They have to be more than two inches away from an enemy unit. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to roll a D6 and scatter. If I direct hit, I just go right there. Otherwise, I scatter D6. The only threats are going off the table, which is, I believe, over four away. And this is over four away as well. So if I roll a five in this direction or a five in this direction, they're dead. If I land on an enemy, uh, I just get pushed back a little bit. Four towards the enemy, so I'll end up being pushed back. So in the end, they'll land there, and then the rest of the unit will show up around. Boom, right there. Nice. And then we begin the combat phase. I have priority, so I gotta resolve my first fires, and then we do your first fires. What one do you have first, for first one fires? One first fire. I just you, have one. You, you have get one. one of those two, then I get them, then you get the next one. Right. The Predator firing first, everything in the Bane Blades in the back. Just the Predator Auto Cannon and then the Laz Cannon. Start the Laz Cannon. It misses. And then the Auto Cannon. Two shots on fives. Got a hit, but no AP because it's only light anti tank. Does Two not up work. save on a Bane Blade. No Good. damage. That's it for my resolution. We got your guys over there. Uh, they're going to shoot at the Kratos. Oh, they're, just fair. Gonna try and take, they're just gonna try and finish off the Kratos. So I've got one Lehman Brothers Battle Cannon firing at you. That is one hit. Two Vanquisher Battle Cannons. One hit, and then we've got two hull last cannons with one hit as well. Oh, very spicy. So, um, these are all AP ones. Two AP ones and one AP two. AP ones, he's dead. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. And that means I got my Sakarin. It doesn't have great range though. I'm just going to put shots into the. <sighs> Nothing really fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I could go for the Titan, I guess. Could go for the Warhound. How many Void Shields does he have? Two, Two. Void Shields. I'm gonna do the Laz Cannons into the Bane Blade in the back there. It hits! One Void Shield goes away. No, this is into the, the oh, Bane okay. Blade. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the What's Warhound. What's the AP? Uh, one. Three up. Oh, Ooh, two one damage. damage. They have two wounds each? Yes. All right. One little hit on him, and then that's it for first fights. First strikes, first fires. Yeah. We resolve combats. Combats now. Melee. First time getting into combat. We have two melees to Game go into. Two. Well, we gotta go figure these out. We got, which one? Uh, how do, who, how do we pick the resolution? Engage attachments, wonder. fight any mm. combats. Mm. So it's basically, uh, we, uh, we'll figure, we'll come back. We'll, we'll come Be right back. back. So let's zoom in on this fight right here. We are going to resolve this one first. Since Scarry charged in, he went into base contact where he could. I got to activate my guys. They're engaged in pin, so they can only pile in. And to pile in, you have to go into base contact with the model if you have the movement to do so. And uh, it is unengaged with another model. So in this case, uh, that's all done. Uh, we have the commander fighting them. These two fighting. This guy is fighting two. And then this guy is fighting three. These ones are not fighting. These ones are not fighting. We're going to go ahead and resolve this one first. Yeah. We're going to start with the commander fight, and we're going to work our way down. The way this works is we roll 2d6 plus our close combat factor. Whoever rolls higher causes a wound, no save. Simple as that. I'll get no bonuses to my combat rolls. Uh, Scar will get plus one to all these rolls, because all these combats, because he charged. Yes. Uh, what is the say, CAF of them? So they're just plus one. Uh, they're just a, um, a uh, where are they? the Velataris Storm section. Um, so they just get plus one to their CAF. Okay. Uh, however they charge, it's just plus two, yep. which I think equals yours. My command squad's plus four. Yes, your command squad's, yeah. I'm not, I'm very <laughs> unlikely to kill your command squad in combat. Right, yeah. But I'm gonna try. So I'll see, I'll do plus four. I got Oh no. So they, they just, I can't even. You can't even, so they just kill them. <laughs> and that's, okay, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings. It's actually very similar to Lord of the Rings yeah. without, the, without the strike roll. You only do dual rolls, that's it. 
Yep. Okay, so now we've got your Marines. Uh, you one on one. One fight. on one there. Okay. Boop. I get a seven. You get a seven plus two. Yep. So nine. And I lose that fight as well. All okay. Right. Boop. Oh, no. This was Isn't more of going? a speed bump than yeah, anything. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll move on to this one. So we do this one-on-one -on -one fight there. Okay. And then if you kill me off, we resolve this one. But I get an additional D6 you against do. you as they're fighting you multiple enemies. Okay. Oh, well, like, you can still tie. You can still tie. Uh, no, no, not quite. He's All very... Right. <laughs> Oh, no. This didn't go as planned. This space wolf. This did not go as planned at all. Uh, so that means they don't have anything to fight. They're just going to sit there, and then this is a one-on-one -on -one first. Okay. I get... Will I cake. actually win one fight? That's a tie, then. I don't know what that means. Uh, that means nothing happens. Oh, okay. And then we go okay. to the next one, where I roll you roll three, three dice. I'll just, so I got an eight, uh, ten. nine, ten, to a total of twelve. Twelve, so I need a decent note. So they're dead, too. Okay, they all die. <laughs> it was brave, though. It, it was, was very, very brave. brave. Uh, and then that's it. These go that's away. It. Yeah, there's no saves. I, the Medicaid in that unit, I believe, would give me a feel no pain from the command squad, but that's about it. We have to move on to the other one. However, this one, Skari actually has Bolgrin, so that's a little bit scarier. We'll go ahead and let's just get this one out of the way. This is a one on one over here. It's a little storm section. So you get melee guys, I have regular guys, so it's the same die. Yeah. Roll. I just can't stop rolling like a god. No, it's. it's okay, the exact opposite of yours, so oh they go down. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, this okay. is a one on one, but I do have assault marines. They get plus three to this yeah. one. Yeah. So actually, the, the ter like when you do your charge move, Deciding who goes where is actually important. Yeah, I but just it, move them in, you know. It but does now I know for next force time. your hand at some degree because you have to go in a base where you can, but. I only get plus one because I charge. That's just the last gun unit. 13. Okay, 13. <laughs> I need uh, 12. No, so you do kill them as well. Okay, okay good. I'm, cool. I'm going to keep rolling these two dice. They're really good. The uh, Charadon, they get plus four on a charge. Oh, they are nasty. I get plus three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I rolled five. So it's a five. Okay. You beat them. I, they're, they're dead. dead. Boop. Nice. And then we Another have Charidon. Uh My guys are also plus three. Yes. I, I get roll. plus four to this. Yeah. Yeah. So Ooh, I that's a tie. tie. So nothing, nothing happens. Nothing happens there. Uh, okay. There's no other fights to resolve I there. I my commander. Uh, and I'm fighting. And then I've got. Oh, you're doing one. One is fighting two. One is not. Uh, yeah. I'll just, uh, th those guys. Let's do them. We'll do this one on one. Okay. So I roll a seven plus two. There's nine. And I rolled an eight. That's a nine. So that stays. And then you roll 3d6 on this next I one. I do. Ooh. So you rolled a 12. To my kill you. Oh, yeah, they're dead. Yeah. All right. So you overwhelmed them. And then we have a one-on-one -on -one here. Okay, let me just find out, Mike. Plus four on the charge, I get plus two. I roll. Okay. okay, that's not great. Yeah, dead. kill him. All right. Okay. Ooh, cool. But we're all still engaged, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Engaged and pinned is the uh, rule of it. If you're if you're engaged with someone of the same scale or higher, you're stuck there fighting until that's all resolved. In this case, that's what's up. That's pretty much it. Yep. I guess that's it. That's combat. Yeah. That I was, don't think you have to do morale. That was I don't have brutal. To, I lost... Three yeah. out of my seven? Yeah, out of seven. You're, you're good so far. I don't have seven there. <laughs> I have five over there of eight, so I'm still good. I lost three. I was counting four. Last part of the combat resolution, you have to see which side won or lost the fight. I definitely lost the fight in this regard by one fight, I believe. So I got to do a morale check. Hey, a six. We hold. Nothing adverse happens. And uh, we just stay engaged. And then when they're ordered things, they just pile in and fight until that's resolved next round. We go to actual shooting for the round here. Uh, interesting. I think I'll resolve these Kratos battle tanks first and fire everything into the Bane blades in front of them. No, everything being a, <laughs> a loose term here. The one melta turrets in range of this guy. So everything will go to the Bane blades, but I only get to fire one of them. I do have to fire the coax. As, but they're all the same target, doesn't really matter. Melta on the turret, it misses. The auto cannons into them. So these are the non coax, the non coax auto cannons. Both hit, and then the coax auto cannon hits. Sorry, there was only two hits, and I forgot to shoot the second shot for the coax. So that's uh, two hits in total, and then I forgot to fire completely all of his auto cannons as well, because his melt is not in range. So that's two hits. This guy's uh, accurate auto cannons gets a reroll. So that's four hits, and then the non accurate one, six hits, no AP though. These are all very nicely done. Uh, two up saves, no Good. damage. They're, they're AP1, but they're light anti-tanks, so again, super heavies and all that stuff, they don't actually get the AP. Blades are gonna shoot next, I think. Actually... Yeah. Boom. I don't really have any threat What on are the, the carries? Can your big titan see my Sikarans? Bane Blades is the gonna Bane Blades, yeah, there's gonna... The, what are we thinking? So the co-actual weapons from this Bane Blade are just gonna go into... The, sorry, the point defense weapons. The point defense, sorry, that's the what heavy meant, bolters not co-actual. The yeah. heavy bolters will go in there. Everything else is gonna be shooting at the Kratos. Gotcha. So start with a Bane Blade cannon. That is a miss. Is there two then we'll do the Hellhammer gotcha. Cannon. It's just l so that's one hit. Gotcha. It ignores cover and is uh, minus three. Awesome. Might as well roll my save up. That is a. There are two of save. They pass. Nice. Then we got the coaxial 
auto cannon. The fives, nothing. Then we have the two hull mounted demolisher cannons. Ba boom. Both two, hit, I AP3. Two more five ups. I'm gonna make neither, and that's gonna completely destroy one of the main blades. Okay. Or the creatures. And, and the last cannons. Um, Four shots? Yeah. Between the two of them? No, last cannon, yes. Last cannon spawns some turrets. Only okay. one. Hit. And. AP1. We're good on the AP1. Cool. And then we have a couple of heavy bolters to resolve on my infantry. Yep. Uh, and a couple of auto cannons as well. Oh. Yeah. So auto cannon sponsons and heavy bolter spawns. Uh, no. The hull mounted heavy bolters? Needing fives. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just one. Hit. Uh, AP1 on these? Probably. A no, AP0. AP0. Bother. Bolter's light weapon, I'll get a feel no pain roll against that. We are going to feel pain. I'll lose, I guess, this base. The auto cannon. The auto cannon Which are under the last cannons on this Correct. one. Yeah, <laughs> These I are know. all built They're very all different. different, and they need fives. No. And then the flamers aren't in range. The flamers are definitely not in range. That one's got flamers instead of auto cannons. Correct. Yeah, they're like last cannons, auto cannons, heavy boulders on the front. This one's last cannons, auto can No, heavy <laughs> flamers, heavy boulders on the front. <laughs> Do Oscar a morale check on this Kratos. He's uh, two up, though from the commander nearby. I just take that out of there, he's already shot. Oh, well, from there, we are gonna come on over to this tactical squad with missiles. Unfortunately, two of the missiles in the back are not in range to fire, but they are gonna loose into the Bane Blades across from them. Two shots. Whoosh! One hit. Nice. These, these are minus one anti-tank. Cool. Good. You're good, two of save. Okay, so my Warrant Titans is gonna shoot everything into your Kratos. Let's try and get rid of it. Oh yeah, the, right yeah, here. Just everything. Turbo laser, and okay. it's accurate. <laughs> nice, one hit. All right, AP3. Uh, AP3, we have a five up save on the Kratos. Nope, one damage, we got one health left. And then the plasma blast gun. <laughs> one more hit at AP3. Five up. Sky high he goes. Nice. Boom, that's a titan for you. I get to go. Well, I could do my terminators. I could do, these guys don't really have any range on anything, so. Let's go, ah, let's do my Titan. Try and take out your, cause your guys can't, can you guys attack that they're fleeing or no? No, there's no order. Their order is to fall back. Got it, fall they, back. I, gotcha. feel, I believe that's all they can do is try and rally and well, that's then. it. We'll do the nemesis into the, the nemesis Warbringer into those Lehman Russes right down the table. Start with the Quake Cannon. You're gonna put that Quake Cannon right on this one there, right in the middle on a direct hit naturally. It scatters D6 plus one. So four inches, oh, it'll be over there. Very similar to where it was before. That won't hit anything, I know that you much. Should. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna level that part of the battlefield there. Poof. It does some damage to this, but I'm not, not, we're not worried about resolving that in this first Is game. it a destroyer? I mean, a demolisher? Only demolishers can attack structures. Oh, then no, then yeah. I'm not worried about it at all. And <laughs> even less have to worry about it. Everything else into them, including the defense or system, because it's got no other real targets. Resolving the laser blaster, three shots on fours. Two hits. These are at minus three on them. Okay. Five ups. Minus three, five ups. One goes through. Ba boom. And Pat. then I got the two up on the uh, two up on the volcano cannon, and it is minus four. Five six up. Boom. Oh, so close. Morale check. <laughs> boom. But you have your commander. Is that it? Five. You have no. You got your little order cannons. Don't oh you? yeah, my defensive system. Five shots on fives. Two hits. It does say minus one and no other traits, so oh. I think it is a minus one. Three ups. You're good. All good the same. job. And now. Bravery. You're good. He is okay. Still sticking around. And I love the... that my one little Lehman Rust squadron has stood toe to toe with the Warbringer Titan and hasn't gone down yet. Yeah, they're thick. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> like my Predator over here rolled a bunch of sixes. Yeah, it's also too. true. Yeah. Our tanks just don't want to Little punch. Little guys that could. Those are the stories we'll remember. The little little guys that never died. Okay, my Malkador is going to shoot at some uh, Contemptor Dreadnoughts. Let's boop, go boop, ahead boop, boop, and shoot. Boop. Battle Cannon. Hits. Hits. And then go ahead and just do that. Vanquisher cannon. Hits. Hits. Okay. Uh, last gun. last cannon. Hull, uh, hull mounted last cannon. Shoot. And uh, so hull mounted last cannon. Uh, sorry, sponsor mounted last cannon. That's it. <laughs> Two demol uh, one demolisher cannon. There's so many different things Jeez. on this thing. <laughs> I know. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Demolish the cannon hit. Yeah, you know what? Okay. Oh, oh, I should, oh, these are all different. Oh yeah, my gosh. All... So the first three are AP1, that means one guy's dead so far. No, mm. well, this one's AP1, this one's AP2, this one's AP1, this one's AP3. Oh, we should have done this. Oh, it doesn't matter then. <laughs> AP1, dead. AP1, okay. AP1, dead. And then AP3. And then AP3. Okay, they're dead. Yep. Boom. Okay. One, one more? Yep. Okay, still have. He has auto cannon sponsons and a mounted auto cannon, so he's got four little auto cannon. Going shots. forward, anytime someone Five, plays this two. collection, they're just they are mark of Daving the entire army. Dude. Hey, uh, light anti tank one. 
the dead. Okay, good. good. God. God. But, yeah, that solo auxiliary army has every any gun you need <laughs> at any time. I don't care. It's not it's not different guns anymore. <laughs> Monsters. Monsters and tyrants who built them. Uh, I'm done. I'm done except for them, which they can't shoot. So they, yeah, they're just going to. And then I guess your Terminators get to shoot. These guys would fire, but they have no targets that yeah. they can hurt or hurt or hit. And then the Terminator resolution back there. And just double checking to see if light weapons can hurt walkers. I believe they can, but we're going to double check to be sure. They are assault, which means they get double the amount of shots at four inches in this case. And they're going to shoot these walkers here. Two shots each on fives, and they're accurate as well. So oh, very cool. There's like cool. twin linked rapid fire and combi bolters. That's neat. Uh, so we got four hits so far. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. And then it is just four. Four oh, ups. Oh, jeez, how many four ups? I killed three. They're dead. Boom, 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 boom. Die. That's my objective, I think. Yes. It Glory to the Terminators. You also scattered right close to my objective, which means yeah. you're going to steal it in the end phase. That's a big That's deal. That's going to be a big swing of points. That will How's conclude that? the second round of the game. We have to do uh, no, no one's running or fleeing, right? That's no, all. No, no. You killed mine. However, you do now successfully hold one of mine, which lowers mine by two and gives seven it's more to you. It's a nine-point swing for me. Yeah, it's a, that's a big deal for points there. As we go to the third round, you have to... I mean, you got so like... get seven? You're yeah, you get, you, get, you get seven for five and two. I'll and then get, you get nine plus another seven. So you get 16. So you're yeah. up to 25 victory points. Not bad. Yeah. Then bring us to the third round. I will point out, though, that my, uh, my armored company little formation here, the tank one, is... Broken is a broken formation. Everything else on the table is fine for Scarry's side, my side. That means they'll suffer some penalties for the rest of the game. Yeah, minus one to their leadership, basically, when they have to. But the sense is only one model in each unit, doesn't matter. Yeah, they're just going to die. Yeah. Um, and it means they cannot be issued the first fire order. They can only be issued the advance or charge. But no march either? No march. Ooh. Yeah. Just going over some of the orders before we roll priorities. I got, because they're broken, they're just going to do their advances, uh, both advances on the tactical squads, because I wasn't too sure what you were, I thought you were going to scoot and run away, so I just didn't want to waste the charge. Mm -hmm. uh, you're marching on them. That's march, advancing. first fire, advance, assault. So I'm just going to run around and try tar tarp at them again. Right. And, and then, then over here, you did a march order on the Terminators. Yes, yeah, so the Terminators. I did an advance on the Malkadors. Yeah. Uh, first fire on the uh, Lehman Rush Squadron. And then, of course, they're just advancing because they're, they're in combat. They're just keep uh, continuously fighting, yeah. Because I got an and advance stuff. on the, the Nemesis Warbringer as well. Like, uh, we got a priority roll. I guess we do. Priority. I like it. Ba 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 two, three. You get it okay. this time. Or you could choose, but yes. I assume you would like it. Yeah. And then we have some of the moves. So just to summarize some of them, the Warhound pivoted, moved, pivoted this way, or just even moved to pivoted. He could, he's agile, so it doesn't matter. Yep. I can't remember what he did, but he did something accurate. The garrisoning Bolgren and this one charged out of the building, coming out of there and charging into my plasma gun squad, which is cut off right here. And then I had my guys under the advance order, so they just piled in as well. So we got a big old fight going on there. We're gonna remember they have rending. It didn't come. It didn't matter for the last fight because they put my butt on the other side of the battlefield. But rending allows them to always roll three d six because they're an only melee. Unit. Yeah, they roll one extra dice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then my missile launcher squad advanced forward, just kind of chaining out, trying to get some pressure going on down the board there. These guys are under the first fire order, so they didn't move. Yep. And then your unit of infantry over here were under a march order. They they went from cover to cover, but I had enough activations to wait for them to move. So I had both my battle tanks scoot back here and get some shots at them for later. And then on this side of the board, your Malkadors. Just uh, here to engage the Terminators. Engage the Terminators. The Terminators were under a march order, so they ran behind the building there, but stayed near the objective. Yep. And then over to here, my Nemesis Warbringer moved forward and pivoted. But he doesn't really have too much line of sight. He's still going to put pressure on that Lehman Russ, who's <laughs> think, under the first fire I think order. he's just going to die. And then um, yeah. over here, we both had um, advance orders just to pile in more and fight more. That's probably not going to go well for me, but eh, it is what it is. Remember, right to combat. We're going to go ahead and do first fires. You have priorities, so you don't, I don't actually have any, so nope. just go ahead and do all yours. They're just my Malkador. It's just a Vanquisher cannon on fours. Who's nope. this going to? The big guy? That's the only thing he can yeah, shoot. Yeah, fair. Okay. <laughs> and then I've got my last cannon. Nothing. That, right. That's that. Right. right off the voids. Uh, then you get to pick the first. Th oh, no, you got these guys to resolve as well. I they do. have first fire. I do. Bane Blade Cannon. Misses. Missed. Then we've got the two last cannons. Uh, one hit. One hit. And it's anti tank, so I believe I get my full save. You do not so. get it. Yeah, you do not get anything there. Oh, we're good on that six. Actually, it'd be 
for or against from both. Boom, boom, boom. Two. Uh, these are, they, are light AT, so they they do AP work. Yeah. AP ones. These should be that's sixes. Six, that's six work. So five. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom into these guys. Ah, uh, we'll lose this. Uh, boom. Two more last guns from the other squad. Two hit. Both hit. These are five ups. We fail both. Yeah. <laughs> last cannon just killing entire bases of dooms. <laughs> boom. Hellhammer cannon. And boom. And then Hellhammer cannon. That's a three. Nope. Does not hit. One demolisher. Nope. One heavy bolt in range. One safe. No AP. No AP on that, so it should be this. We're not good. Heavy bolter just guns down an entire base. Again, heavy bolters shining. Boom. That's what we got left. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Yep. Makes sense. Just pull the guy over there so I could tell how easier. It'll that's, hinder me later. Uh, but. That's that squad's first fire. And I don't think I'm just gonna roll it anyways. No, I don't think they have to take a morale check, but that's just in case. Yeah. First fire's result. Fighting time. Uh, you have priority. Which one do you want? Let's to do. First? Let's do the one with the charadons. I I feel cool. like this would be entertaining to see. I get a charge, and I roll three dice per. Yeah, if we already uh we already paired off all the fights, so you get to. We got a one on one. This guy's fighting two bases. This one's fighting two bases. And that one's fighting a command base. Which okay, one do you want to do? Do the commander first. Oh, you yeah. all right? Roll it up. See what you got. Okay, so I get plus four to this. Oh. Triple ones, eh? <laughs> All right, I get plus four to this. Yeah, you do. And I kill you. No! <laughs> that was unfortunate. That's a Over here. Okay, so that's uh, seven. 11. Plus, plus four is 11. Yep. I get two six. That's an eight plus two. 10. Which is 10, 10. so they're dead. Okay, okay. boom. That's one base each. This, this guy's, guy's on a double. Two. So, so first, one. first one. Do you want to fight my plasma guns first? Uh, oh, I guess I pick. Do I pick? No, I pick. I pick. Yeah. Sorry, that was a five. So a total of seven again, plus four. Yep. I'm going to roll. Nope, that's not dead. dead. Okay. Now you roll three dice yep. because this is the second fight that he's fighting. Maybe I can roll some actual decent rolls here. So that's a nine. Decent roll. Well. Okay. Nice Good old chap, man. And then last but not least, he's also fighting two. Six. Oh my god. Oh, I got him. Okay. And then. Oh, okay. And I get. Oh. Oh, oh they're dead. Oh. <laughs> that was very well done. But you win the combat because you killed four bases. Do a morale check. They're good. Okay. I guess you don't get feel no pains against melee attacks. It just uh, removed. Yeah, that makes sense. That works for me. I'm just curious. I just want to make sure you're doing it mechanically right. I don't. It says you only get feel no pains against light uh, weapons with the light trait. Melee don't even have a trait. So. Well, I have rending, which is what gives me the extra th dice. So I do have a trait in my close combat weapons. Oh. Yeah. You have, I don't even have close combat weapons. I actually have a weapon trait. Yes. There's no like range of melee weapons. I understand. Okay. Next combat. Oh. Are we? I don't know if we pile into each other here. Uh, We're still engaged everywhere. That's true. Yeah. Okay. And this one over here. We got a bunch of nonsense here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> there's a two on one here. Nobody charged, so it's just straight up. I have zero pluses here. I get you plus, have plus two. two. So I've got the first one. I will kill them automatically. <laughs> oh, no. They die. But now I roll three dice for the yes. next one. Come on, let's oh, go. I'm not even involved okay. rolling it. Your commander I'm gonna do the, my... No, I'm going to do the little dude first. The little guys. All right, bring yeah, it on. Of course. Let's go, little guy first. Oh, he doesn't roll very high at all. I killed him. Boom. Okay, now my commander gets to roll yep. three, because he's trying to. There we Ooh. go. And that's a 12. Oh, plus nine? A three. Yo, 12, yeah, you got yeah. him. So we both lose a base okay. there. Blah, blah. One on one here. Jeez. Nope. Four plus two? Nine plus two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then. Which <laughs> now one we got next? some charadons. So we'll do this and do them. Are you sure you want to do the charadons first? Because ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's just do the charadons. There you go. Three d six. Let's go. Oh, that's not bad. So not eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Ooh. So I get plus three. So I got thirteen. You beat him still. I did. I did. So nice. I did get him. Okay. Then over Same here thing well. over there as well. Jeez, oh, that's gonna, a I'm big, bother. big roll there. Black. <laughs> we got one base left. Morale. They're good. Okay. We go to resolve the shoots. What the shoots. Uh, my War Morrowind Titan is just going to shoot your rocket launcher squad. Yeah, they, these guys are here. Yeah, I just see what he's got. Force. One at AP3 for the turbo laser. Oh, it's accurate. It's accurate. Right. Two. Two dead. I don't have a save against three. that. And then plasma blast gun. These hit on threes. One. One at AP3. All right. I'm there. Just in case. Nope. They're all dead. Nope. Yeah, AP3. Yeah. One, two, and three. And that'll be a morale check. Actually, I'll just go like this. Boom. I'll do the ship. Well, they would have. I'll just reroll. It's too wild. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I meant the first time, but I dropped the second one. I think it would be my main formation broke as well at this point. Okay. Uh, my go. pick. Yep. Me, 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 me. Uh, well, I don't really... Uh, I don't know. Let's do the missiles <laughs> and the Bane Blade. Because uh, does anything else really matter at this point? Nope. This is a, It's like these guys, but there's no return fire at them. Yeah, so let's do these three missiles and that Bane Blade back there. Fours. Whoosh. We kill. Well, we hit twice. Minus one. Nice. Threes. Good. Nice. No damage, two fours. And we go to the Malkadors into okay. the Terminators in the back. So, battle cannon? Fours? Nope. 
Vanquisher, Force, yes. 1 AP 2. Uh, just, but it's anti oh, we got a billion attacks on them, that's right. Bane, though. Terminator has a 4 up save. Yep. Uh, I failed. Uh, so that'll boop, destroy this one. Cool. Then we have a Demolisher Cannon. Uh, misses. Then we've got the Auto Cannons. <laughs> on fives. Uh, so we have fives. Two. So it's two. These are light. Ooh. So one. There we oh, go. AP the... 1 light. Right, yeah. the AP 1. That kills two mm. bases then, eh? Uh, oh, and last can. Nope. And that's it. All right. Yep. Okay. Morale, maybe? Yeah. Oh! That, they were normally morale three up, but because the force is broken, they're out of here. Well, that formation, that detachment. But they can still rally, right? So that's the thing. They still rally on top. Yeah. I am going to resolve my tanks over here. They're going to fire into your guys. I'll start with the Predator. Shots on fives on the cannon, and then the one hit from the last cannon. No AP. One regular guy. Oh, he lived! Nice. So Karen <laughs> is next. Done, let's move on to this guy. You have anything else to fire? No, I'm done. done. Perfect. I'm done. Oh, that's a drop down. I'm gonna do his heavy bolters first. Yep. Bup, 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 bup. Nothing. Let's do his Karen or Predator. Uh, the one last cannon shot is a miss. And then the auto cannon turret. Three shots on fives. They don't get the reroll though. One hit, minus one. One hit. Oh, so one dead. Oh God, eat that. Boom. Blah. Look at the witness the power. Boom, that is effectively that's it. it. I got the Nemesis Warbringer. Yep. Be able to shoot everything. That guy's in my final. I got to shoot He's everything dead. at him. Blip. Boom. Get him out of here. Yep. I like the, the what? Two up to hit, and this guy's got a six up save. He's dead. And freeze. We got the rally up there on that Terminator is a big deal. Yep. Oy. He's sticking he does. around. He rallies. Now he's worth five, six models on this objective. And I just have to check how many my Malkados are. Hey, he <laughs> still has the objective with the five Terminators. Six to my four. Oh, I yeah. can't hold that. They have a special rule called intractable? No, in, yeah, whatever. They, they get plus one, yeah, okay? Yeah, they got Not whatever, whatever, but like whatever. Huzzah. Okay? Seven Huzzah. More. I wish you would have run away. So do I. So do I, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, so that's good for the Space Wolves. Uh, yep. They're holding their objective. They're doing great, honestly, uh, realistically, but gosh, we are just hemorrhaging Marines everywhere. Everywhere. Both of my formations, all my formations are broken, minus the big guy, but I mean, he won't be broken either with the, the, the Titan over here. So that would give me seven victory points, plus five victory points, plus another four victory points. So you have the 16. Another 16. And, and I get... only get seven. At that point, mathematically, it's almost impossible for me to get there. And I think oh. we've shown off pretty much all of the mechanics that we're familiar with right, right now. I think it's I, getting away. I, you know, in terms of points, I think, though, my secondaries will give me a lot of points. So it'll be really close at the end uh, because then we'll see what happens with those tanks. But I think gosh, in the, I think in the so long, I, honestly, in the long game, I think you might win also. But I'm okay to throw in the talent and see there in the interest of time. Luke is warm and I've learned enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I hope all of you have enjoyed yeah. the game. I think we're going to call the game there. We've gone through a lot of mechanics, and we've learned a lot that we want to rejig when we build our lists yeah. again and have this again. I think going because into the next game, you just, all your vehicles are like... They all have to be the same. The same. I don't like, want to deal with that again. I don't yeah. want to deal with that yeah. again. Not, that not was, the viewer doesn't want to deal with no, that again. No, like having to roll... Like, honestly, I highly recommend if you're going to do formations and detachments, make the formation dedicated to one thing and yeah. just try and make it do that thing. Because if you're trying to look at a last cannon that's this big... Very similar looking to an And it's very an similar cannon. to an auto, yeah, yeah, auto yeah. cannon, and it's very similar to a heavy bolter or a heavy flamer. I forgot to, I also forgot to mention in the beginning no. of the video, we were omitting a couple of the rules that we didn't want to have to deal with learning right away, like <clears throat> overwatching. That slows the game down to a crawl with recording. Well, we didn't do, yeah, we didn't do that. Yeah. Although, I will say, I love, well, let's go over a post game because I'm going to talk about it. But other than that, we'll call it a draw, Luca. I'm, I'm, that is a win for me. <laughs> that is a win for me. It's going to be so close because yeah. I'm going to get, like, stop you from scoring your points yeah. just for having a big detachment behind your, your lines. Yep. And then I get points for killing entire detachments, and I'm, and I'm pretty like much yeah. getting my full points. So that'll do a big flip, which will make up for the for the losing the objectives at the end of the game. Yeah. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna right. have that Terminator for much longer either. Neither do I. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And available in the mini wargaming vault, Scarry and Luca continue playing Legions Imperialis. Though they go Legion on Legion, Iron Warriors against Space Wolves in this battle. So if you are not a member on YouTube or the vaults, do not fret, for you can join up for seven days for free by clicking the link in the description down below and sign up for that trial where you can check out this battle report as well as the rest of the content we have in the vault to go along with it. Thanks again for watching, checking out this video, enjoy it, and I'll catch you all next time very soon.
post game time uh, for us it was like immediate uh just uh if for anyone else uh you know maybe we stepped away for a second there but first reminder this terrain all available in the description down below big 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 discount for the full bundle it is like from 900 american down to 250 american with the promotional code or go to the the link sorry not the code but go to like miniwargaming.com slash eight mil i love that they're like lego like yeah yeah it's all like you build whatever so cool. table you want like you can you can have like it takes it's so it can take a while to set up but you get to like cultivate every little element of the so setup cool. all the stuff over here if you want to raise element maybe you want to raise element right in the middle up to you guys really walking up the stairs with little guys in the middle is kind of a cool idea and then you can like if you have you know a table set up all the time then you just keep one set up and adjust it whenever you feel like you need to adjust it all that fun stuff this was uh my first uh legions Le i didn't even look at the rule book didn't even look at it before i actually thought i was playing star wars legion today <laughs> you did <laughs> very close yeah matthew told me last night I was like, Pre prepare for legion i'm like done no problem i love legion i know legion i walk in this is all set up i'm like oh man let me tell you i Wrong was not legion no i am a not a happy camper about it but we got through it anyways i'm getting a little uh uh i don't know what's uh what what is it you know like the actors in their uh little like rvs backstage like i'm not gonna do this because my water Going to my trailer yeah my my water was like one degree too warm and I asked <laughs> i'm not no, acting today i asked for no blue m ms <laughs> blue m ms that's, that's what it honestly feels <laughs> that's like it i'm done that's <laughs> I'm not, you don't get luca today that's what it feels like some days man uh but like i like the only thing I didn't like was the overcomplication of the war gear on our builds. That has nothing to do with the game. That was the build of the tanks. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, we've learned. Yes. We we learned something today, Luca. What did what did you like? Uh, well, uh, my favorite element is the close combat. It just mirrors Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is my favorite game. It's very ever. brutal. So and it's brutal. I like that. It's just yeah. roll two d six. You That's are forced it. to go base to base wherever you want. You got morale checks. It's perfect. The melee is yeah. perfect. I love it. I wouldn't change. Well, as of right now, I wouldn't change anything. Maybe play a few more games. I'll figure out something I would like. To. I doubt it though. I like it a lot. Uh, Note to self though: yeah. the individual placing of models in combat very important. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings, very important thing. It yeah. was. Well, you wouldn't expect it at such a big scale. Yeah. When now all of a sudden you have to think each individual model fighting each individual thing because yeah. they might physically die, like because they're I getting assassinated yeah. by three bases that are in base contact with them or something. Oh, and obviously, as I should note, leave like a comprehensive list and page numbers of all the things that we missed or may have forgotten. Yeah, please. Um, That'll help us for the future. I'm pretty process. sure we had, we, we forgot a few things. Yeah. We're not perfect. How no, I wasn't we gonna... tried very hard to like not overcomplicate it. Yeah. So. Maybe some of the cover things we maybe didn't go like exactly right. Yeah. But at the same time, we just wanted to show some of the game mechanics. Yep. Just and the there's core so game, much terrain game. on this board. We didn't really show like the garrisoning too much because there's fighting when you're in combat with garrisons or shooting a garrison. Like you get cover saves and yeah. it's hard to hit them. I don't want to deal with that. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> show off any of that, which means we'll be back with another game at some point that has some of those mechanics in there. Yes, probably yeah. attempt to uh, mess around with some of that stuff. The Titan stuff was cool. Uh, the Titans seemed really strong, but like at a bigger scale, there's a lot more that can threaten them. The ranges of the weapons were, I will say, annoyingly small. I don't like, even like in 40K, I don't like weapons having ranges. I'd rather them be unlimited and suffer negatives based on that. But when you're shooting one shot, I get it. You have to have ranges on the weapons. So it's kind of like annoying, like when your tanks, like, this thing only able to fire like here on some of these guns is so ridiculous. I guess it's like the effective range of it. It can technically fire way over here, but every shot would just technically miss is the way they do it, I suppose, yeah, which makes sense. I really enjoyed our little knights. Like the Warhound Titan was like the perfect sort of like bully. Yeah. just kind of went in. Your guy was terrifying. That quake cannon didn't hit once. Nope. But if it would have hit, yep. I feel it would have killed a lot of stuff. Well, you were smart. You only deployed what you needed to over there. You went pretty heavy on this side, the opposite side of him. So I kind of knew that I was uh, screwed on that regard there. He's too slow and ponderous to reposition himself. Yeah, you kind of put yeah. him down on one side and you're like... I and, just, I, I, didn't, I didn't put much it. helped that there was yeah. like a big piece of terrain that just cut the table in two yeah and so he didn't really dominate the battlefield no, which was important yeah i didn't i just figured i was gonna put him on one side i knew you were gonna deploy on the other side i'm like didn't put much thought into it boom down there having played heresy and, though yeah. i was very under underwhelmed by the contempt of dreadnoughts yeah i'm a little dis i was they I just was died so fast they're, they're not liking heresy at all they don't really maybe like not using them properly or not but they're just they're saves they're like they're a little 
But not that expensive, I guess, but you kind of want Dreadnoughts to I want Dreadnoughts to dominate the table. That's my one of my the only and favorite thing about Marines are Dreadnoughts. So I want and Terminators. The well, Terminators, Terminators did great. Yeah. They did awesome. Deep striking is very powerful, no, obviously. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I actually it was really nice, by the way, having a tank commander. So I had two like leadership bubbles where I could like issue orders, because if I lose a commanders, I just my whole strategy dies. So I feel like you're gonna need to have some sort of leadership bubbles around to make sure that your guys stay in line. That's and like a solar stuff. dogs thing yeah. in particular. Because as yeah. soon as they die and then all you can do is advance and there's no charges and yeah. it's just bad. Oh, no charges, eh? Yeah. yeah. No first fires, no charges. Just so bad. A fair. I didn't uh, really put... The Marines don't have to worry about that. In fact, like, I forgot to mention earlier in the video, too, I have Space Wolves. I don't. I didn't care about looking at the rules. Wasn't going to bother playing with the rules. Only want to play, like, basic basic Legion Imperialis. So they weren't really Space Wolves, are you? They are just Astartes, whatever. Just generic Astartes they in this case. Like, they were painted like Space Wolves. They, oh, they were, they were. But I didn't want to worry about the rules. I didn't even bother looking at them. <laughs> so I didn't have to worry about forgetting them. Shame. I'm going to put that, as you're watching this now, Luca, I'm going to record a little clip. We're going to grab the bell, okay? The shame? Yeah, we're going to grab shame. the shame bell. Hey, I'm full of it. And parade you around <laughs> the studio. I don't you like You should feel shame. Uh, maybe the next game I'll put a little more uh, worry into the Space Wolf rules. Now that like, I understand the core concept of the game, again, this would have been the normal like read through the book, play the first game really slowly, kind of on camera, but with like an air of confidence. This was, we have no idea what we're doing, put armies on the table, go. The battle report. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, I am now. It's done. <laughs> and it went better than I was expecting. It was good, actually. It was, yeah, yeah. it was pretty fun. But we had to, like, uh, take... Like, I would have liked to use all the elements of the game in the first one. But for the first, like, tutorial game, for anyone who hasn't played before, this was probably more than enough. Yeah, 1,500 yeah. points, actually, is probably a... It's, it's a it's, bigger game than I'd want to play if I was learning the game. Yeah, I would Like, it had like a lot a of elements, but, like, I'd say make a 1,000-point list yep. at most. 1,000 points And then try and titans. do, like, three formations. Yep. And then just have multiple detachments within the formations or like maximum three formations maybe even just two maybe two yeah. yeah i mean i guess it'd be hard to get to a thousand with one yeah well it's like something no, like you, you have to have a whole bunch of stuff you can yeah yeah. You, yeah you can like it says you have to have at least one every 1500 so it seems like they're actually a negative to have multiples of them because then your formations break easier because if they're very minimal correct if they're yeah. small they'll break and then they're yeah. they're more prone to just running away you want your formations to be kind of big and juicy that's right, yeah. especially if they're all over the table. However, I would recommend you have some sort of way to distinguish your different formations. Oh, yep. Uh, uh, color sure. code them or Bases, little just like a rim around the base. Rim around something. the base, colored banners, absolutely. Like, if, for us, it wasn't bad, but even just your two, like, tactical squadrons yeah, they're, mixing up, you're like, ah, I don't remember which one's which. Yep. I didn't really get to fire any buzz. I was a little disappointed. There wasn't, like, there's, like, not a lot of incentive, it seems, to, like, fire bolt guns across that one another. Just because, uh, well, at that point, you might, well, you might as well charge. I might as well just charge. Yeah, why I are guess you firing Overwatch guns? would be like the only time where like somebody charges. Yeah, you like, yeah, your bolt guns. You know, might as well, like, whatever it is. Oh, I guess there's that. There's the Overwatch yeah. again. Next time we'll play with Overwatch. We'll play with uh, like Legion traits and everything uh, to get a better feel for it. I mean, our collection is this. Really, we don't have. Well, we'll more. make more. Yeah, we'll get more. Yeah, we'll, we'll get Matthew yeah, and yeah. Dave to make tons more for all of you. I think so. I definitely want more. I want more. Uh, I don't care about. I don't care about tanks. I don't care about titans. I, don't, I just want. I love infantry. That's my favorite part. Love those horns infantry. I want more Malkadors and more Lehman Russes, but have them all equipped the same way. Yeah, where you just build like more of the collection. Like just take apart those two there and build on those two and other units and everything. And correct. Just have that, them. Yeah. That exactly. and I need another Bane Blade. Can they go up to three? Yeah, That's, I guess so. Why I think not? so. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, the Kratos so. is going to go up to like four. Thinking you go up to five yeah. Beyblades in a. I hated the stupid range on that Meltagon on that Kratos. Eight inches. Eight inches. Come on. Ridiculous. Why? Oh my gosh. How fast is it? Like eight? So maybe it's it moves like, eight, yeah. Okay, so it's a fast tank. So well, really that's like the slowest of my tanks. Oh, really? Yeah, the other one's the Predator's nine, the Space Scarab's Marines ten. are speedy. I wonder what Land Raiders do. Uh, I don't even think they're over Are they there? They might be. Yeah, oh. they're definitely over that. I can't remember. Maybe. I didn't look. We didn't look far enough. No. However, I want to bring my Warlord Titan next time. I had to have a pretty big game for that. I mean, we broke twenty four hundred minimum. Minimum twenty four hundred. Yeah. Imagine that'd be so cool. He's like yeah. enormous. Well, they recommend so the recommended game size it says is three K, but obviously, like as always, I say it in all my games, the rules are guidelines. You can do what the heck ever you guys want. Whatever any element of that game you don't like, you just change it. There is nothing that says you can't. That's right. Yep. Yeah, change it. However Except the rules, like. Luca. No, I've decided I don't care about the rules of the games anymore. <laughs> I like them as a guideline. I've been playing too much Old Hammer these days, and I'm getting to be more and more of a grognard, stuck in my ways. No, no, you're not getting to be more and more. You're, the inner grognard is, is coming is, out. Yeah. Is <laughs> bursting from your chest. <laughs> Just complaining. I love it. I love it. Hey, you we know what? 
I love you regardless. Ultimately, that's how it works. it's that thing's fault. Oh, really? I get so angry when I'm warm. I cannot stand being warm. All the heat's on in the studios downstairs, and I'm. Oh, I thought going... you hated the foam. No, the foam is fine. <laughs> there's a clear patch up there. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I was like, why would you hate no. foam? The fact that's a that very no... interesting like thing to be angry at. The fact that there's no AC up there. If you guys have been watching mini wargaming for years, you'll know that in the wintertime, my battle reports, I am cranky the whole way through. I need like ACs on me at you all You should be times. wearing shorts. Well, it's cold as heck outside, right? Like it's like- Yeah, just yeah. change. I suppose I could have a change of clothes here. <laughs> that's one way to do it. Yeah. I mean, no, I would be even warm in those. I know I would be. The I need to be frigid. You need flip flops? And like <laughs> flip flops. And I like, suppose, yeah, I you know, can do that. Just a tent, you know, just like a no shirt. I can Nobody sees that. No you one when sees you're me filming. Anyways, really, no one really knows what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just consider that, I need know. to be frigid to be happy. I need my. I need to not feel my fingers as I'm playing. So That's, what I'm gonna do is we're yeah. gonna. I'm gonna rig like a little hose to the <laughs> outside. Like a wet hose. Oh, no, just like a hose, there and, and then yeah. just have like a little cold air intake. Where you can stand beside, so you can <laughs> we have an AC cooler. unit for the room. stupid damn. It is what it is. But there will. I be... like the warmth. I don't know what Lucas. No. Is. No. Yes. I need to I like the ice warmth. cold. I need to be ice uh, cold, baby. Like your heart. Yes, exactly. Like my heart. Uh, that is uh, it for this one, though. There will be more legions imperialis to come. As of right now, wolves against uh, traitorous solar auxilia. The elite of the no, elite. No, next time we'll do traitorous wolves versus nice solo auxilia. Oh, we could do that too. Yeah. There were some traitor wolves. Well, more like renegade wolves, I guess. I suppose. There's not a lot of them, but there were some. That's it for this one, folks. Happy War Gaming. Leave some feedback down below, please. It will help us. It is more important than you might think. If you're like, I liked that video, but they forgot this one thing. Maybe you should say that. Nicole. The more you interact with videos, yeah. the more it shows us, hey, we should make more of them. Yes. So if you watch them, like them, share them, and you enjoy it, we will make more. But if it doesn't see, we see any traction, it doesn't make sense business-wise. Exactly. So, like, if you like it, make sure you let us know yeah. so that we can do more. And I know I'll like this game a lot, too. There's a, there's a lot of things you can do with this, and there is a heck of a lot of potential. Oh, also to note, if you guys are going to be annoyed with future releases and, like, because the game's at such a base level right now, they are going to be coming out with new kits that will have to have new rules and other supplements, and then they're going to amalgamate them all together in like a year from now. They do that with all their, they all, they do that on the new release of all of their specialty games. So if you get annoyed by that content, that will happen for this one as well. Because you want new models to play with, therefore you're going to need new rules for them, and therefore they're going to have to amalgamate them all into like a core rule book version 0.5 in the future. Yeah, which with is all fun. the FAQs and errata, it'll be great. I want to try all the Titans though. I, we got, you know what? I got a great game for you if we're going to do that. No, no, <laughs> this version of all Titans. No, why? You got such cool rules of Titanicus for all Titans. You know what? I don't even got... know if the rules allow you to have all Titans. You can let me, I was, you can teach me Titanicus. Yeah, I'll allow it. That is a great game as well. I, yeah. Hey, I like, the, I, like, I like what this guy is showing me, this game here is showing me. I love Titanicus. Titanicus is already a well-established great game. Yes, yeah. I like it. And I love the fact that you've got like your little interfaces. Yeah. And, like, the little plasma things. And yeah, it's, it's great. Cool. It's perfect. Yeah. It, it feels it, like feels like Battlefleet Gothic on land. It just, it, boy, that, because Battlefleet Gothic, they're both technically naval games when you really think about it. Correct. It's like a naval game, but yeah. just on land. Giant walkers. Like, yeah. And then one's in space, but you know, same yeah. thing. Inertia, all that stuff. Anyways, happy war game, everyone. Stay tuned for more.